If fun and unique antiques are up your alley, you'll want to come along with me today to see what I found in my adventures recently. Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer. Welcome to Antiquing Adventures, where I share the vintage treasures I find in thrift stores and antique malls. Thanks for coming on this adventure with me. There's several pretty things in this corner. The beautiful roll top desk, lovely desk lamp, what look like hand carved wood ducks, but what really caught my eye were the lightning rods with the colorful glass. I guess they've never seen one of these up close to know they could look so decorative. Sitting here, they look like an art installment. I found this Humpty Dumpty pinball machine at Antique Archaeology, home of the American Pickers. I recently did a short on some of the other unique treasures I found there, so be sure to check it out on the shorts page of my channel. The tag on this fire truck dates it to the 1930s and says it is a Steelcraft by Murray International Mack Bulldog pedal fire truck that has apparently been refurbished. I love the details on this, the ladder, the horn, just tons of fun. I did a video on Pierce Arrow pedal cars from the 20s and 30s, so check it out at the link above if you'd like to see more of these types of kid cars. Lots of fun little cans and a lovely coffee grinder in this section, but I was really curious about the blue items on the top shelf. According to the tag, these are daisy butter churns. It says they've been repainted, but that the patent is for 1917. You can buy countertop butter churns today, but these of course have a better backstory than I got it on Amazon. Let me take a moment to give some love to the gorgeous antique clocks in this room before I point out the stunning buffet with stained glass doors and that rich, warm wood tone. This almost looks like the built-ins you see in craftsman style homes, which is maybe why I love it so much since that's my favorite architectural style. Sitting quietly next to the buffet is this amazing 1923 restored barber chair. The hydraulics apparently work, and it looks like it has a leather strap attached on the left for sharpening the blade. Anyone know if they still use those leather straps for that purpose? Because I gotta say, at first I thought it was some kind of seat belt, which then led to other questions about what exactly this chair was for. On the left is a very old parlor stove from the 1870s in excellent condition, and on the right, a 1948 Seaberg jukebox. I wish I'd thought to see what song titles are still on there. I love this little vintage patio set, so quaint and cheerful. I can picture it sitting under one of those vintage patio umbrellas with the fringe. Now, I'm not sure if this qualifies as vintage, but I just loved this little art installation. It looks like someone cut up strips from Wonder Bread bags and tied them on a hanger. Cute and simple idea. This could be an easy project for kids to pick out fabric they like and make one themselves. This shop was in an old home and there's just too much in this kitchen to share individually. So I'm sharing this looky-loo around the room so you can take it in too. We antique lovers could easily end up with a kitchen full of antiques like this if we're not careful. Now last but not least, for any Gen Z folks out there that might be watching, this here is called a telephone. It was actually tethered to the wall with a cord and you had no way to know who was calling you. This shop owner is having fun with it by challenging anyone under the age of 20 to show her how to dial 911 on it to win a prize. I wish I could have seen a young person try it out. So what do you think of my unique finds this month? Did you have a favorite? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what antique or vintage treasures you'd like me to feature in the future. If you like this video, make sure you follow the adventure by subscribing and hitting the notification bell. See you on my next adventure.